I don't really know what I'm doing. It's just kind of scary sometimes. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belfort. Stacking penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds. Slipping on Ciroc, trip them up with the words. That one definitely hurt like a bitch. About the molly and I think it'll be my dirt. Hello guys, it is Maddie Capoza and welcome back to another video. First of all, I kind of did a stupid move and I completely forgot my camera stand at my dad's house. So I have my camera sitting on my ring light and if you're wondering why it's kind of crooked, that's why. So sorry about that. But anyways, today I am going to be kind of be showing a tutorial for how I do my eyebrows. So to start off, I use Gigi. I guess, GG waxing heater, I don't know what they're called. But it's over there and I'm not about to get up and show you, but it uses all of these different things, which I highly recommend getting every single one of them if you want or are looking into getting a waxing kit. To start off, I have been waxing my eyebrows for probably about a couple of years. Um, I started getting my eyebrows waxed when I was about in like 8th grade, maybe ninth grade, maybe even earlier. I don't really remember. All I remember is I got my eyebrows waxed when I was really young because my eyebrows are horrible and I'm Italian and my eyebrows are really thick and just ugly. It wasn't until about like two years ago that my mom got me a waxing kit for Christmas which I absolutely love because I have to get my eyebrows waxed just about every two weeks. Getting your eyebrows waxed every two weeks is a pain. One, just having to go get them waxed. Two, trusting someone to wax your eyebrows for you is another thing. And three, it's expensive, it adds up. And so if you have never gotten your eyebrows waxed before and you're looking to get them waxed, I would highly recommend you get them waxed first. That way you can kind of see how they're supposed to be shaped. Um, I would recommend going to Ulta or a place that draws on where they're going to be taking off. That way you can see what it looks like. You're not just sitting, laying down and having someone just wax them for you. A couple of times I have went and they have just either not taken off enough or just taken off too much and they look like crap. And there's nothing you could really do because it's not like you sign a contract with them. Like you're just kind of trusting them to do your eyebrows for you. So get your eyebrows waxed first. That way you can get them shaped and then maybe two weeks do them yourself. That way you can kind of see where their hair is growing back. That's why I like to do mine every two weeks because if I wait too long, then I completely lose the shape and I have to like go in freehand and just kind of like guess where they were and like take off as much hair as I think that needs to be taken off and then I end up just completely taking off too much or just not liking the shape at all. So whenever we talk about pain and stuff, personally, I've been getting my eyebrows waxed for so long that it doesn't hurt me at all to wax my eyebrows. At first, it's going to hurt because you're putting hot wax on your face and then ripping it off. It's going to hurt, but I don't know if it's that your skin just gets tougher or you get used to it. I'm not really sure because I don't look into that and I'm not like a scientist. So anyways, let's, let's like, right now I don't have any makeup on except a little bit of mascara. I obviously don't have any foundation on because you don't want foundation on when you're waxing your eyebrows. Before you wax your eyebrows, put on Prehan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But all I know is that it works and there is cleaning alcohol in here. Whenever I smell this, it reminds me of the stuff they put on your arms before you get a shot at the doctor. So it looks like this. And you just wipe it onto your eyebrows and it cleans, gets all the dirt off. It gets makeup off that you think you got off, but you actually didn't get off. And as you can see, like my eyebrows aren't like too bad. I'm gonna try to... But they're definitely bad. So then after you use that, you use a pre-epilation epilation powder, which I, I got something in my eye. It's like, honestly just looks like baby powder. And this is to just dry the area. <laughs> I totally missed. It's obviously a good idea to have oh, all of your strips pre-cut. I just use these type. So the stick that I use is one that looks like this. It's slanted. There's thinner ones and there's thicker ones. This just works best for me. The first thing that I do is the middle. And whenever you're heating up the wax, you want to make sure you let it heat up for like a good 20 to 30 minutes to make sure that it's all the way heated up because then if it's not, it just doesn't really work right. My face is so dry. Gonna get a little bit 
just a, just enough and I outline what I want to be taken off and I kind of do like my right side first press it and then you want to pull the opposite way and then press the piece damn it do the other side There you go, obviously you're right as hell, but I need my tweezers. I missed a piece. A couple pieces. My skin's really dry. I can like see it. Okay, and then now this is like the part that I completely freak myself out about because I don't really know what I'm doing. It's just kind of scary sometimes. I use one of these eyebrow brushes, like hair all over, and just brush up. And I'm able to kind of see like Everything that needs to be taken off. I just start with like a little bit at a time because I don't like to take too much off because I like freak myself out. Because I'm not licensed at eyebrow waxing. I don't know if you could tell, but. Sometimes I like, oh shit, I just put it straight in my cotton thing. Sometimes I like to kind of make an arch, but other times I like don't really like to make it because I get scared that I'm going to take off too much or it's just going to look bad on me. I have a bad habit of ripping it off and then looking straight at this before I look at my eyebrows. And as you can see, a lot of hair comes off and I look up and I'm like scared to look at my eyebrow. I'm like fully aware that some people like eyebrows thick, some people like eyebrows thin, some people look better with thick eyebrows, some people look better with thin eyebrows. There might be a lot of you who are like, oh my god, her, she's making her eyebrows so thin, they look bad like that. Which, you know, that could be your opinion. I personally don't like my eyebrows super thick because I feel like it draws away from like some of my other features. I just don't like my eyebrows thick at all. Other people, you know, you could like your eyebrows thicker. But I'm not really a fan of super thick ones. I like them to be kind of more outlined. I mean, like, I don't like super thin and drawn on. I feel like I don't really have a preference. I feel like it all comes to the person. If you have really thick, beautiful eyebrows, then, you know, it looks good. But some people just look better with thicker. Some people look better with thinner. I don't know. I don't really have a preference. Like when someone says, oh, do like big eyebrows or small eyebrows? Like, I don't really have a preference. But if I had to pick one, probably pick big over small, but like big and natural. I do not like when people straight on outline their eyebrows, color them all in. I don't think that looks that good unless you're like going someplace like huge. There's this huge event, not when you're like going to the store or something. Whenever I was younger, my eyebrows were so bad. I'll insert a picture here so you can kind of see them. My eyebrows were just not defined, not really anything. At least I had a lot of eyebrow to work with. Now I go ahead and do the top. There's mainly just peach fuzz at the top. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of hair above except like on the corners that I get off. But it's not until you like see my eyebrows in the sunlight that you like actually notice. I think this is gonna rip out like half of my hair. It should be fine. Okay, so this one's done. Um, just being waxed. was coming up right there. That's not good. That one came like 
a little too close to my eyebrows, so I'm not going to put that on top of my eyebrow because I'm too scared for that. <laughs> Now I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and wax my lip because I have some peach fuzz on my lip. I do this with my eyebrows. Um, if you're using this video to wax your lip, um, kinda wanna push your tongue up against your skin to like move it because if you don't, it's gonna be like, it's literally gonna give you a hickey on your lip. Trust me, I've been there. The way that your blood flows, if you're just kind of like letting your lip dangle, putting it on, ripping it off, it's going to literally pull your skin and it's going to pull your skin as if you were getting a hickey and leave a hickey on your lip. So be very careful with when you're putting the wax, it is like this. And then pat it on. And it also hurts a lot less. That would hurt like a bitch. It looks really, really red, but it's... It's not that bad, I promise. That one definitely hurt like a bitch. It's hard to do these without like completely wasting. If I could do just one, like one, 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 it would literally be so less painful, but I just kind of take the easy way out. Another huge thing that you have to be really, really careful with is if you're waxing your lip or even your eyebrows and like you miss a piece, do not put wax on anything that's red because it will rip your skin off. When you're done, <laughs> I literally have a red mustache. You're gonna get the wax off and put it on just a cotton or whatever you use. I just use these squares, that's what I use for my nails. And also, if you don't have wax off and you like don't feel like buying it, conditioner works as well. I know you wouldn't have never thought, but that's basically what this wax off is. I mean, don't be using this wax off on your hair, but that's basically what it is. So this gets all the wax off. Oh my gosh, I'm literally like so upset. I looked all over my house for my tea tree oil. I just, like, it's like crucial for me to put tea tree oil on my eyebrows after I'm done waxing them because I will literally break out and like, a horrible rash from them and I was at my twins college this weekend and I think I left it there so as a replacement I'm gonna be using aloe this doesn't work nearly as well it's good to kind of like put this on every hour or so to reduce like bumps because right now they're red but like I'll wake up with they almost look like zits all over my face literally in the shape of where I wax my eyebrows so as you can see, my eyebrows are pretty defined. Um, I'm not gonna color my eyebrows in this video just because I would have to take it off and then that would literally irritate my eyebrows even more. If you saw my last video that I did, I, I was attempting to contour my face. I also, you know, did my eyebrows. And so how I do my eyebrows, I brush them all up draw the line underneath. It's basically the same thing that I did in my last video. So I'll put the link to my video either down below or up here. If you want to see how I do that, you can. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Continue to comment, you know, video requests, video recommendations that you want me to do because I don't know what you guys like want to see. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my socials down below. See you soon.